Welcome to another video on IT and Automation Academy. Today, we're going to explain SCADA in a super easy to understand way with the help of animation. If you're new to automation and want to understand what SCADA is, this video is for you. So, what is SCADA? SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. It's a system that helps monitor and control different processes, like oil and gas, power, and more. Before we dive in, let's understand two types of architectures, factory-centered and remote. Let's start with factory-centered SCADA. In any process, you need instruments like control walls, transmitters, VFDs, and motors. These instruments collect data, which is crucial for making decisions. Now, imagine these instruments as sensors in our body. They collect data about temperature, pressure, and flow, just like how our body senses heat or pain. Now, this data goes to PLCs, which are like the brains of the operation. PLCs analyze the data and decide what actions to take. For example, if there is some changes required in process, PLCs send commands to final control elements like motors or valves to meet desired process requirements. So the PLC serves as the central processing unit of the SCADA system. It receives data from field instruments, processes this data according to predefined logic and algorithms, and sends control commands to actuators and final control elements. PLCs are highly versatile and can be programmed to adapt to different industrial processes. Let's understand in super simple analogy let's imagine you're driving a car. In this scenario, imagine if your car could drive itself. The autopilot constantly checks the information from the dashboard and makes decisions based on that data. For example, if it detects that you're going too fast, it automatically adjusts the speed. When the autopilot decides that something needs to change, it sends commands to the steering wheel and brakes, final control elements, to adjust the car's direction and speed. Similarly, in a process, if the PLC decides that something needs to be adjusted, it sends commands to motors or valves to make those changes. So, just like how an autopilot guides a car safely to its destination, PLCs ensure that processes run smoothly and efficiently by monitoring and controlling various parameters based on the information provided by instruments. In PLC you can't directly observe the ongoing processes or the temperature within them unless you establish a connection using your laptop or access it online. Alternatively, you can link it with an HMI, which stands for Human Machine Interface. As its name suggests, an HMI serves as the interface between humans and machines. Through the HMI, you can visualize the status and values of various processes in real time. Next is Engineering Workstation. This is a computer system used by engineers and system integrators to design, configure, and maintain the SCADA system. It hosts software tools for developing SCADA applications, designing graphical user interfaces, GUIs, and configuring communication protocols with field devices and PLCs. Now what is OPC Server, OPC, OLE for process control? Servers act as intermediaries between different industrial automation devices and SCADA software. They enable seamless communication and data exchange between SCADA systems and various devices, regardless of the manufacturer or communication protocol used. Let's talk about Historian. The Historian is a database system that stores historical data collected from the industrial process. It retains a record of process variables, alarms, events, and trends over time, allowing operators and engineers to analyze past performance, identify trends, and make informed decisions for process optimization and troubleshooting. Now what is Operator Station? The Operator Stations provides a graphical interface for operators and engineers to interact with the SCADA system. It displays real-time process data, trends, alarms, and control options in an intuitive format. Operators can monitor the status of equipment, acknowledge alarms, and make adjustments to the process parameters using the HMI. What function does the printer serve? 
well, it simply prints. If you wish to generate graphical trends or any other form of printouts, you can utilize this printer device to produce the desired outputs. Networking infrastructure. The networking infrastructure comprises switches, routers, and communication protocols that facilitate data transmission between field devices, PLCs, HMIs, OPC servers, and the historian. It ensures reliable and secure communication within the SCADA system, often utilizing Ethernet-based protocols such as TCP/IP or industrial protocols like Modbus and Profibus. By integrating these components, a factory-centered SCADA architecture provides comprehensive monitoring, control, and data acquisition capabilities, enabling efficient and reliable operation of industrial processes. But what about SCADA? Well, SCADA's system consists of software and hardware role is overseeing everything. It gathers data from PLCs and displays it in an easy-to-understand way on screens called HMIs, Human Machine Interfaces. With SCADA, operators can monitor processes, analyze trends, and even receive alarms for abnormal conditions. Now, let's talk about how SCADA is implemented in remote setup. In remote SCADA implementation, the focus shifts from centralized factory setups to distant locations like oil wells, pipelines, or even weather stations. These sites often lack direct human supervision and require robust monitoring and control systems. Imagine a scenario where you have oil wells spread across vast, remote areas. Each well needs to be monitored for various parameters like temperature, pressure, and flow rates. This is where remote SCADA systems come into play. At these remote sites, field instruments are deployed to collect data just like in a factory setting. However, instead of sending data directly to a central control room, it's transmitted to RTUs, remote terminal units, located on-site. RTUs, remote terminal units, are like messengers. There are two types, intelligent and non-intelligent RTUs. Intelligent RTUs, these are smart messengers. They not only collect data but also analyze it and make decisions based on that data. They're like messengers who not only deliver letters but also read them and take actions based on what they say. Non-intelligent RTUs, these are basic messengers. They collect data from sensors and devices and simply pass it along without doing any analysis. They're like messengers who collect letters and deliver them without reading or understanding their contents. Both types of RTUs play a crucial role in ensuring that data from remote locations reaches the central control system efficiently. They use various communication methods such as satellite, radio waves, or cellular networks to send the collected data to the central SCADA system. Here, a radio RTU is stationed to facilitate the transmission of collected data. Through radio wave communication or a radio tower, data is transmitted. A Yagi antenna is installed for this purpose, serving as a medium for radio wave communication. This communication link enables data to travel from the RTU to the master control room, which may be situated several kilometers away, or even farther. The data is received by an omni antenna at the master control room, where a radio tower is also present for telecommunication purposes. This tower accommodates an antenna, specifically a Yagi antenna, installed on the site. The master control room utilizes an omni antenna for data reception. From there, data is transmitted to the control room's internal systems. This communication pathway allows for the conversion of radio signals to internet connectivity. Subsequently, operators stationed at the control room, along with engineering equipment and systems such as OPC servers and printers, can access the received data for monitoring and analysis. In the central control room, SCADA software collects and displays data from multiple remote sites in real time. Operators can remotely monitor the status of each site, analyze trends, and receive alarms for any abnormal conditions. SCADA systems for remote sites often include features like predictive maintenance, where algorithms analyze data to predict equipment failures before they occur. This helps in scheduling maintenance activities, reducing downtime, and optimizing operations. Moreover, remote SCADA systems are designed to be rugged and resilient, capable of operating in harsh environmental conditions such as extreme temperatures, 
high humidity, or remote locations with limited access to power and communication infrastructure. SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, systems rely on various communication protocols to facilitate data exchange between field devices, such as sensors and actuators, in the supervisory control system. Here are some commonly used SCADA protocols, let's start with Modbus. Modbus is a widely used serial communication protocol employed for connecting industrial electronic devices. It is simple, robust, and supports both serial, RS-232, RS-485, and Ethernet communication. Next is DNP-3, Distributed Network Protocol version 3 DNP-3 is a robust and secure protocol commonly used in the utility industry for SCADA communications. It supports serial and Ethernet communication and includes features for data integrity, time synchronization, and event reporting. Next is IEC 60870. This protocol suite is widely used in the energy sector for SCADA systems, particularly in Europe. It includes several parts, such as IEC 60870-5-101, serial communication, and IEC 60870-5-104, TCP-IP-based communication. Now let's discuss OPC. OLE for Process Control OPC is a standard for interoperability in industrial automation. It enables communication between different devices and software applications within a SCADA system. OPC Classic, OPC DA, OPC HDA, and OPC Unified Architecture, OPC UA, are two common variants. At field level you have Profibus. Profibus is a field bus communication protocol used for connecting field devices in industrial automation systems. It supports both process automation, Profibus DP, and factory automation, Profibus PA, applications. Next is Ethernet slash IP. Ethernet slash IP is an industrial Ethernet protocol widely used for real-time control and information exchange in SCADA systems. It is based on standard Ethernet technology and is often used in conjunction with the common industrial protocol, CIP. Next is BACnet. BACnet is a protocol primarily used in building automation and HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. It facilitates communication between building automation devices, such as sensors, actuators, and controllers. Next is Profinet. Profinet is an industrial Ethernet protocol used for real-time communication and data exchange in SCADA and automation systems. It provides high-speed data transmission and supports a wide range of devices. These protocols play a crucial role in enabling reliable, secure, and efficient communication within SCADA systems, allowing operators to monitor and control industrial processes effectively. The choice of protocol depends on factors such as system requirements, network infrastructure, and compatibility with existing devices. SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, offers a plethora of benefits across various industries. Here are some key advantages. First advantage is real-time monitoring. SCADA systems provide real-time data on process parameters, allowing operators to monitor operations continuously. This enables quick identification of issues and facilitates timely decision-making. With SCADA, users can access and control processes remotely, which is especially beneficial for managing operations across geographically dispersed locations. Remote access enhances operational efficiency and reduces the need for on-site personnel. SCADA systems collect and store large volumes of historical data, which can be invaluable for trend analysis performance evaluation, and regulatory compliance. This data logging capability aids in identifying patterns, optimizing processes, and troubleshooting. SCADA systems can generate alarms and notifications in response to predefined events or abnormal conditions. This proactive approach helps operators respond swiftly to critical situations, minimizing downtime and preventing potential hazards. By providing insights into process performance and equipment status, SCADA facilitates operational optimization. Operators can streamline workflows, minimize waste, and maximize resource utilization, leading to improved efficiency and productivity.
SCADA systems support predictive and preventive maintenance strategies by monitoring equipment health and performance indicators in real time. Early detection of issues allows for timely maintenance interventions, reducing unplanned downtime and extending asset lifespan. SCADA systems incorporate security features to safeguard critical infrastructure and data from cyber threats and unauthorized access. By implementing access controls, encryption, and intrusion detection mechanisms, SCADA helps ensure operational safety and data integrity. SCADA solutions are scalable and adaptable to evolving operational needs and technological advancements. Whether expanding operations, integrating new equipment, or incorporating advanced analytics, SCADA systems can accommodate changes with minimal disruption. SCADA systems assist organizations in meeting regulatory requirements by providing accurate data logging, reporting, and audit trails compliance with industry standards and regulations is essential for ensuring operational integrity and minimizing legal risks. Ultimately, SCADA systems contribute to cost savings through improved efficiency, reduced downtime, optimized resource allocation, and better decision-making. The upfront investment in SCADA technology is often outweighed by the long-term benefits and returns on investment. Overall, SCADA plays a crucial role in modern industrial automation, empowering organizations to optimize operations, enhance safety, and achieve sustainable growth. In summary, remote SCADA implementation extends the benefits of real-time monitoring and control to distant locations, enhancing operational efficiency, ensuring safety, and reducing costs in industries like oil and gas, utilities, and environmental monitoring. That's all for today. If you like this video, hit like button. Consider subscribing. Turn your notification on if you don't want to miss future content. Till next time, take care and bye.